Okay, people. We had a bit of a disaster this week. I don't know if you can see this chicken here. She's got an injury in her neck. She's the lucky one. I had one that was killed. Something got in here this week. They're all looking for their uh, like old sunflower seeds. I haven't done it yet. Something got in here. Wreaked havoc. Killed one buff Orbington. Injured this one here. Uh, I'm going to see if I can't get a closer look at it. It's been a couple days. I want to make sure she's healing okay. Uh, uh, maybe unrelated. Don't know. Kettles. Got a sore foot. Um, that may be just coincidental. So she's kind of lame, limping around. I've had them. Okay, I had to change the batteries. Uh, since Kettle's not jumping around right now, I put a handful of her favorite right in front of her. Okay, so what happened? We don't know with 100% certainty what happened. Uh, I had left the chicken coop wide open so that the chickens could come and go as they pleased to get access to the, to the horse waterer. And I had also left the people gate open so the ducks could come in because of the bitter cold that we were having. Oh, well, it lasted too long. Um, my personal suspicion is that it was the owner, the property owner's large dog that just wanted to play with the chickens. Um, I had a look at the body of the dead chicken and there wasn't really any kind of major injury and the injury on the um, the one that's trying to recuperate there she's uh, it didn't look like a bite wound I mean it's kind of hard to tell when I was looking at her but it didn't really look look more like a tear wound like if a big dog came down with his big paws you know um, so that was my that's my suspicion that's my number one suspicion however uh, when I talked to the property owner about the death of my chicken, um, she said that the, a large raccoon had been discovered that night in one of the barns on the property. Uh, she intends to live trap it and take it away. Now then the next day, my friend who kind of takes care of my chickens in the morning when she gets here, she discovered a possum, an opossum, chowing down on the dead body um, that was uh, left here so I could inspect it. Um, and she had, she went and killed it with a 2x4. Uh, it was in broad daylight, so we suspected there was a health issue with the, with the possum. And uh, so, you know, if that's true, then it was probably for the best that it got put down, so to speak. Uh, then later that day, uh, that friend saw, witnessed a hawk fly in and land in one of these trees right over my chickens. Okay, at that point I told her to take the body and throw it out in the neighboring field to draw the hawk away because they'd rather go for an easy meal than a, than a hard one. So it's been kind of a rough week. Hopefully not too much traumatization they seem to be doing okay, short of some frostbite. I think Kettle's got some frostbite over there. Thankfully, today is the last day of February, and according to the weather, uh, today is the last day of bitter cold weather, at least for the most part. It's still going to be below freezing all day today. 
Uh, I'm going to go ahead and let these girls have access to the outside. I'm just not going to open the pupil gate. Here you go, girls. still chowing down. So, somebody once said that if you have livestock, you have dead stock. And unfortunately, that is very true. We try not to. We do everything we can in our power to prevent that kind of scenario. Boy, she's got some bad frostbite on her comb. Not as bad as the gray rooster had on his last year but still oh people on to other things yep. Kel's kind of sitting in the doorway there blocking the road this girl wants to get in there Kettle you gotta move sweetie Come on, Kettle, we gotta move. I know, Kettle, you don't wanna move. Okay, there we go. <sighs> Cat, what are you trying to do? <sighs> Is that all you want? Huh? bird up in the tree, I guess. Well, some of them went out. As you can see, the tarp did not survive the bad weather that we had. Uh, it is, hopefully, today is the last gas with winter, temperature-wise. Tomorrow is supposed to warm up, and then, was I think Wednesday, they're calling for temperatures in the 50s, which would be awesome. Of course, the only drawback is that we do have some rain coming in, which means this is going to be a muddy, muddy mess. Oh. I did notice that she's got some fresh bleeding around her neck area, which is good, because that will help to, to promote healing. Uh... A little bit of blood is a good thing. It's if it's gushing, that's not good. Uh, she's not really interested in having me come near her. So I just have to keep an eye on her and hopefully she, doesn't, she does not take a turn for the worse. I'll just see how, how she goes. Just keep an eye on her. I don't want to stress her out by chasing her if I can, if she's going to be okay without me having to deal any more with her. I just don't want to stress her out. So, well, people, it is very cold, and we have heating issues at home. So, I can't stay here for too long. Oh my, he's even got frostbite on his uh, waddles. He didn't have that last winter. Poor boy. I kind of feel sorry for them, but they're, I mean, I tried to make things as, as good as I could, and it is better than it was last winter, you know, and we haven't had as many cold days in a row. We tend to have a few cold days, and then we have a warm spell, and then a few cold days, and a warm-up spell, so, but I think they're better off in this hen house than they were in the old one, so, just got to feel sorry for them, you know. So, I only got one egg this morning. Uh, I haven't talked to my friend to see how many eggs she's been getting since the, uh, since the attack. You just gonna sit there in the doorway, my dear? Huh? Just taking advantage of what little sun there is. There's a bit of a haze in the sky, so it's not a lot of sun. All right, I'm just getting a scoop of, uh, uh, enticement ready 
so that my, when my friend gets here later, she can call the chickens in and close them in. So, all right, that's it for today, folks. Right there is the remains of the Buff Orbington that got killed the other night. Threw her out in the uh, pasture because of the hawk that was in the trees over the chickens. And I had my friend throw her body out there.